all right guys so for this one i'm gonna be doing a quick unboxing of this battery that i bought um if you are a huge dash cam user and you use um parking mode or you just like dash cams in general this is something that's definitely for you um if it's not you guys could just uh skip this video but i'm gonna be installing this in the rsx and this is called a selling um selling neo and it's basically a battery that charges off the car and then you could what happened mikey and then you could um basically power the dash camera while your car is off in parking mode so um just a little quick unboxing of it that's the hard wiring kit right there this is for like the older hondas this is for like this car right here and that one right there you could tap in i never seen that size so it's like a medium size i've only seen the small and the average size so pretty cool that they provide this that's to go into the um accessory acc um output and there's um three things that i like about this battery so far like the reason why i bought it and the reason why you would actually like it first number one you could hardwire it into your fuse box or you could use this cable and this plugs right into the battery and uh, basically when you start your car right there you plug that in um, it's gonna start charging the battery once you turn off your ignition it stops charging and whatever power it charged up to from your alternator um, you could basically use that to power your dash camera while you're not away so yeah so those are your two forms of um, charging right there hard wiring or the plug-and-play and that's the number one thing that I like that they give you um, two options but they do have a downside and an upside one thing is that when you charge with this it's gonna take an hour and 20 minutes to charge and basically you gotta like drive out of town and drive back for uh, the hard wiring it takes uh, 40 minutes to charge up so this is the hard wiring kit right here you basically plug this into your battery this goes into ground and this is your accessory and this would actually go into one of those butt connectors into the fuse box and they give you an assortment of which one you need and then this will be ran to like either under the seat under the dash or whatever and this is an xt90 xt60 basically like an rc car uh, lipo pack um plug but just uh smaller and then this is for um to power other type of dash cameras where you could just splice and uh yeah I'm not gonna be really using this one right here. And then this is uh, the one that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be plugging this into the battery itself. And then I'm gonna be plugging the dash camera into this and that's how it's gonna get the output. So these are for input, this is for the output. So, and I got this right here. This is a one year warranty. I'll probably cover that, but yeah, so. It's a one-year warranty so if anything happens i sent it back and yeah it's gonna be uh pretty cool this is uh the receipt that up there that's it right there and uh so yeah so powering it that's one thing i like the second thing i like is the one-year warranty by uh, black box my car and then the third thing that i like is basically uh you could download an app and link up all right, my camera is uh, talking to me. Let me turn it off. Okay. So basically, uh, it's a Bluetooth activated, I mean, a Bluetooth connectivity with the uh, actual battery. So you could see everything from how long it's gonna take to charge, um, how much voltage it has overall, and um, other, you know, little things. So you could see the, uh, the specs of the battery. Oh yeah, so let's see the actual battery itself.
Sorry, Mikey. All right, so one thing about the battery is that it is freaking heavy. It is super, super heavy, the battery. So I thought it was honestly gonna be like something lightweight, but that's the battery itself. All right, so you can see right there, basically it has the output, which is what's gonna give you your um, power and then your input, which is basically gonna come from the car. They have low and high, you switch it to low, and that's gonna be for um, your cigarette lighter. And then if you want high voltage, which is gonna take this, basically it's like the size of an extension cord, that they are not playing around here, you put it on high and then you could charge faster right there so this is a refurbished product they got this a uh, hundred bucks cheaper and yeah that's the reason why I got it and plus the warranty so if anything happens these guys are pretty legit so um, yeah they'll cover it and everything so yeah so basically what I'm gonna end up doing that seems that's for uh, firmware right there So it shows that right there, it says, uh, I guess for firmware update, and that's basically it. It has some LEDs right here, and yeah. So I'm gonna download the app right now on my phone, plug it in, and try and get it connected. So yeah. All right guys, so I'm downloading it right there. That's the app to uh, communicate with the battery. It's gonna show me all the specs and everything. Just download it, let's open. So yeah, so gonna basically allow Wi-Fi, I mean uh, Bluetooth and everything, and then once I get the setup, we'll see how uh, the app looks and everything shows you right there, but yeah. And then I'm gonna plug in the battery. Actually, let me do that right now. So this is how easy it is. Right there. Plug that in. Now I'm gonna plug this right into the battery. All right, so basically I got this right here. I'm gonna put it into input. Right there. And then now I'm gonna get, that's the, for your uh, camera right there. Put this right into there. And that's for your camera. So now I'm gonna turn on the ignition. Oh, it shows it right there flashing so now it's charging so now I'm gonna um, go back to the app and communicate with the battery right now all right guys so it's pretty dang easy I just um, basically turned Wi-Fi on push search and I found the battery and now it's saying low voltage warning and yeah so right now it has a okay well I think it's because it's not even let me see it's not running so let me start the car real quick so it just went up to 13.1 volts that's charging output is 13.8 6,000 milliamp hours and uh, charging full charging time will be uh, 49 minutes usable time is no time right now so um, yeah this thing is pretty dead so that's just what it shows me it shows me charging output battery capacity and um, it's a good thing you know it's all the way topped off too it shows the temperature and it shows how much it's charging this is battery charging right there so yeah so let me try and switch to a uh, Fahrenheit instead of Celsius so let's see battery capacity 6000 beep state parking state mode well it doesn't really say anything to change that And that's where you search for the battery right there so if you have multiple batteries connect it and then it automatically uh, communicates with the battery so yeah so this is a uh, pretty dang cool I'm gonna uh, go for a drive and let's see um, when this thing is fully charged all right guys so I just got home charged it 100% and now I'm gonna um, use it overnight let's see uh, where it drops down to so 
I just got off the road. It was uh, at 30 something percent. It took about 40 some minutes to charge up. So yeah, that's the temperature right there. All right guys, so this is just a little continuation on the battery that I bought. Um, there was uh, three hiccups while um, the whole installation, after the installation, during and everything. So, uh, and everything actually worked out pretty good and two things worked out even better. Well, one thing worked out even better than all. So, uh, the first thing was when I installed the battery, I checked the app because you can connect the battery to the app, Selic app, Selic Neo app, and you can see uh, how much usable time you have for the battery. And uh, it didn't show any time, but the camera was still on. It was powering, um, you know, in the parking mode. So I left it overnight and um, the camera shut off in the middle of the night. And I was like, uh, what the hell? So I waited until the morning to check the camera because I didn't get an alert or nothing. And then it just, uh, it, didn't, it ended up being that this um, 12 volt cigarette lighter socket, it was enough where it went in applying power, but for some reason it was just enough where it was just to get power. So yeah, so, um, it was basically enough where it was uh, making a connection but it wasn't fully connected to the power and basically where it was making a connection but it wasn't like fully in and then it kind of made like the camera like malfunction it was just like flashing all the lights and everything I disconnected it and then I finally pushed it all the way in where it'll just go in and it'll touch and then it was finally showing usable power and I guess I just didn't plug this all the way in, but it was kind of a scare because I thought it fried my camera, but everything turned out good. So the second issue I actually had was this little connection right here. Uh, this is where it goes into uh, an ACC, I guess, uh, an accessory, where it plugs in, and then whenever you turn the key, it'll give it a 12 volt. Whenever you take, take your key out and turn the car off, it shuts off. And so I plugged this one where uh, the cigarette lighter um, port was. So when I put it inside, um, I had only one fuse in, and that was uh, for the cigarette lighter, and it wasn't applying um, power to the battery whenever I had the car on. And I'm like, well, I guess this thing's faulty, it's not charging. And so I switched out, and I put it to this one, and then I got it after like an hour of troubleshooting, I swear, it was like, it was pretty bad. After switching it to this one, uh, I switched the power on and then the battery will charge but the cigarette lighter won't work So I ended up just putting two fuses in and then so now one fuse is for the actual battery One fuse completes the circuit. I don't know how that is, but that's just what I had to do but Instructions and everything all always show just put one fuse and you're good But I had to actually put two fuses at uh, 20 amps so um, that was another little scare, but it worked out good. The last thing was like pretty frustrating and I was like, uh, should I take this back? Because it didn't really make sense. So right here is the Selink Neo app right here. And you could see right there, way at the bottom, it says usable time. It says 16 hours, 45 minutes, and it will fluctuate and all that. There's the battery temp, there's the battery charge. You, you can see where it's um, charging. It's not charging right now. The engine's not on output, 13.1 volts. Capacity, 6,000 million amp hours, and it's uh, full charging time. It's not on right now, so it'll give you like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or whatever. So um, basically, it says 15 hours right there, and I was like, mm, it's kind of advertised as 20 hours or 25 hours. Some even is... Uh, you know 40 hours you can get with like a lower spec camera so i'm like why did i even purchase this if i'm only going to get 15 hours or 16 hours which i was getting that with the uh the power magic pro um hooked up and so it turned out that that number right there the 16 hours isn't even um accurate you fully charge the battery to 100 percent it'll go up to like 
16 hours and 50 minutes. You park your car and you can get 20 to 25 hours. I can get probably about 20 hours on this battery and even though it'll show like 17 hours charged. So that right there is not accurate and you could easily get four or five, six more hours. And uh, yeah, more than what's actually stated. So um, disregard that number and you can get a lot more. And if it's a two channel with the front camera, rear camera, expect less because you know it's just gonna be more uh, power consumption. But everything turned out great. Now I just gotta, uh, Oh, and also the reason why I have this tape, it's because it's holding it all the way in. It doesn't snap in, so with vibration or whatever, I don't want it to come out. So I put this tape. It's a pretty permanent fix, kind of ghetto, but it works. But yeah, so I'm going to uh, extend these wires because I have them all curled up. I'm going to put this under the seat, in the dash, hide it, put it somewhere. And this is more of a set it and forget it type of deal. You already have your app just to show you everything how much time you have and uh, the capacity and all that and yeah so that's gonna be the little install uh, if you like dash cameras you use parking mode if you have an LTE camera if you have something a two channel something that you like to use uh, the parking mode feature you need this battery get it they have the uh, the power cell 8 I think it's called and they have the uh, the black view um, 124x also and uh, they have this selling Neo, so get yourself a battery, helps out, secure your car, and yeah. All right guys, that's gonna be a little video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you on the next one.